Hello and welcome to Excel Uber. In this video, I will show you how you can browse and open an Excel file, copy the data from that Excel file and paste it to another file. Okay, so let's get started. Right, so what we see on the screen is my destination file where I have certain data in the columns A to D, right? And I want to, you know, get new data from another sheet. Right, so I'll also show you the sheet first. So I'll open this source file. You see on the source file, I have different data and it's uh, only till serial number five, right? And I want this data in place of the data that is existing. So this data should be removed and my new data should be imported here at the same columns and rows. Okay, so let's see how this works. So first I'll give you a demo and then I'll explain the code behind this. So I'll click on this button which says browse and copy and the browser for my system will open up. Okay, I have navigated to the required folder and I will select the source file here. I'll click on open and you see now the data is replaced and I have received the data that was there in my source file. So that's how the thing works. Okay, so now let's go to the developer tab, open Visual Basic and see what's the code behind this. Okay, so first uh, we see that there are certain declarations. So file name source W is my source workbook, destination W is my destination workbook. Then I have taken two lengths, length one and length two. Okay, so what I've done here is I've set the destination workbook as this workbook. So what workbook we are working on presently is my destination workbook okay here I have activated the data sh uh, the sheet which name is data so if I go to this destination workbook data is the name of my worksheet okay and here I am finding the length of the rows that are filled up okay so in how many rows my data is already present okay the reason why I do that is I take this range and starting from the cell A2 till D and that particular range plus one, I clear the contents. So whenever I have to copy certain new data in my existing destination workbook, then I remove this data starting from the cell A2 till D, D column and whatever, you know, at till what row the data is filled in. So to do that, I have to clear all this. And for clearing all this, I use this command clear contents and I'm using these two lines of the code. Okay. So I hope that this is, this is clear. Then I take the file name is equal to application dot get open file name. So basically this is used to open the browser box where you select the file name. Okay. And once you select that file, it becomes your source workbook, right? So the source workbook takes the file name there on the source workbook. I had the sheet which was named sales data. So I activate the sales data. Okay. Here also I find till what point the data is, you know, in the source workbook so because I have to copy that entire data. Okay. And this is the command which enables me to copy that. So source workbook dot sheets sales data range A2 because it always starts from A2 till D and the length two. So, so length two here we get this, you know, uh, let's say for example, in this case it was five. So length two will uh, take the place of five. So it will D five. It will copy that and put it in the destination workbook sheets data range A2 and D till length two. Okay. So whatever has been copied will be pasted to the destination workbook. That is our uh, workbook. And then it closes the source workbook. So that's the code. I've also mentioned the code in the description of the video. So you can just copy and use the code and change at whatever points it is necessary based on your data. Right. So I hope this uh, video is helpful for you and it is it will be very easy for you to browse and copy data and get it to your destination workbook. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel Excelibur. Thank you very much.